Hey everybody, it's Dee, and I am here to do a walkthrough <laughs> of this little, whatever you want to call it, book and card set. I got this at Half Price Books. It was only, it was marked down to $6 from $7.99. I thought, you know, I'm not Wicca, but there's always something that I can learn, and I liked the look of these elemental cards, so I was like, hey. Why not? It says celebrate the Earth's natural cycles with spells for good fortune, prosperity, and protection. Finally, something that didn't say for love. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to open this up. Get rid of that. Got the book here. Oh my. Oh, I had to tear that up a little bit. A little charm. That's cute. That's cute. Oops, sorry. Scratch my nose. Got a candle. A tea light candle. Cute. All right, so let's get into this book before we look at the cards and like I said I just feel like you know you should people oh, I gotta sit down sorry should want to explore everything they can about life so here we go doesn't say who it's by or anything Hinkler book Hinkler books and that's it it says 64 page book, 26 oracle cards, tea light, and a pentacle pendant, which is very cute. I like the pendant. All right, so let's get into this book. Oh, interesting. Right away, there's like a disclaimer. Let me stand up because I'm not going to be able to read. It says publisher's note. Neither the authors nor the publisher can accept any legal responsibility or liability for any errors or omissions that may have been made, nor for any inaccuracies, nor for any loss, harm, or injury that comes about from following instructions or advice in this book. <laughs> Jesus. It's kind of like when we have to use the term for entertainment purposes only. That doesn't mean what we do is for, it can be for that, but that doesn't mean that it, that's just a legal way for us to not be sued. <laughs> It's protection. It's protection. All right. So anyway, I thought this looked really interesting. There's the chapters, contents. I'm not expecting a lot out of the cards. I think they'll probably be very thin paper and that's okay. It'll be more like a, a kind of like a little field card or recipe card type of thing. Who knows? We'll see. Magic in the modern world goes over a little bit about different types of areas of religions and things. Fairies. Oh, sorry if I hit the camera. Oh, see, this is already interesting right here. It's got attributes of angels. It tells you the name of the angel, corresponding planets, influences, days of the week, colors, symbols, and a suggested incense for them. So that's really great. Talks about the sphere of protection. That's great. I'm not gonna go through every page in here. Let's just flip forward. Candles, candle rituals, how to prepare them, colors. This is really good for a beginner, like a baby witch. How fragrance works, an incense kit. Hmm. Like, like, skip way forward. Oh, casting a circle, is that in here? How neat. All right, so for baby witches out there, casting a magic circle. And this isn't a big, thick book. This is completely hideable for my baby witches or in the, in the closet witches. You can put this in between your mattress, boom, done. In between the box spring and the mattress <laughs> or just easily hide it. Making your circle magical. I like that it has illustrations. That's kind of hard to come by nowadays in books. So that's kind of neat. It tells you what you're going to need. Interesting. 
goes through, gives you six steps to success. How many spells? If you're new to working spells, it's likely that the first one you perform will use a, a lot of psychic energy. So try not to wear yourself out. In the beginning, it is probably best to confine yourself to one or two spells in a session. Although as you become practiced, you may do three or four or more. <laughs> Ooh, that's really pretty. The Book of Shadow tells you about a BOS. This is super cute. <laughs> yeah, this was worth $6 just because... I don't know. I like it. I dig it. Spells and ooh, spells and healing. Spells for healing. Tells you what you need. Shows you color photos, which is cool. A spell to heal the earth. We all need to be doing that spell. Good fortune. A spell to improve business. This is cute. Aw, spells for friendship. I love that. Ooh, <laughs> spell to stop gossip. Yes. Ooh, this is a good one right here. Spells for separations and endings. That's the chapter I'll be going to right away. How to use a talking stick. Nice. Arts of divination. Ooh, a nice picture there. So it goes over the different kinds of divination, synchronicity, uses of divination. Can be used for an analyze problems, clarify decision-making process, help you to understand yourself and others better, reveal aspects of a situation that are out of conscious awareness, stimulate intuition, open up your mind, asset healing, assist healing, sorry, and predict future patterns or trends. I like that they put that predictive little part in there. That doesn't mean it'll happen. <laughs> because of free will, right? Runes. That's what I need to work on. I just haven't had time, which is crazy. Oh, wow. Love this. Okay, so this is worth it to me because I do have a set of runes and I do have the book that goes with them, but good Lord. I don't know. I like things simple. When things try to be too complicated, I'm like, who are you doing this for? Whether you're experienced or not, you know? I mean, are you just trying to make yourself sound, you know, just so over the top? This is cute. Choosing a pendulum. That's good. Yeah, this is definitely a whole thing on dousing there. Pendulum responses. This is pretty cool, I have to say. Oh, dreams, nice. Let me go back, let me go back. Astral travel. Flying witches. <laughs> oh, sorry, my, I'm, yeah. Exploring past lives. Ooh, I'll definitely have to read that. Karma. It's kind of short. <laughs> It's a pretty big subject. <laughs> dream world, dream recall, extending a dream. So that's a pretty big subject also, but it got, it got a lot more area, which is good. And a glossary of terms. That's nice. The only thing missing is like an index, but I guess you could go to the table of contents for that. So overall, I'm pretty happy about this book. It's cute. It's great for, like I said, if anybody's new, which, you know, I'm not new to the craft, but, you know, I'm sure there's things in here I will be able to learn or refresh or look at differently, however you want to call it. <laughs> so let's look at these cards. I kind of had to mess the box up a little to get it out of the package. It's just crazy. It's just this silly little box anyway it's not something keepable all right daily meditation shuffle thoroughly i don't think they could handle that but okay take one card each day place it where you can set it and think about what it shows meditate on the meaning and the image visualizing it in your mind's eye write down your conclusions in a book kept for the purpose. One card reading. 
Begin each day with a simple question such as what kind of day is in store? Shuffle the pack, then pick a card. At the end of the day, you may be able to understand how the card related to the day's events. It will also help you to come to terms with the card's meaning. Oh, wow. Gives you a suggestion for three card meetings. Reading, suggestion for a reading for another person. Interesting. All right, so these are the backs. I like them. I'm okay with it. They're, you know, got all the colors I like. Purple, blue. All right, here we go. Celestial body. Okay, so are they in any kind of order? Oh, these are in order, you guys. Oh, my God. Okay. So I'm feeling like they're color-coded, but for some reason they're not in order. So the sun. Yeah, and these are just laminated card. They're not really laminated, but glossy cardstock. <laughs> so I wouldn't shuffle them vigorously like it suggests, or it said thoroughly. Um, <clears throat> the sun bringer of life. It is an ener energizing, active, dynamic force whose light is necessary for well-being and makes us feel brighter, happier, and healthier. Life is automatically connected to its cycles, the seasons of the year, and the shifting rhythm of daylight. Here's what we need to know. By drawing this card, you're invited to use the energies of the sun when practicing magic for personal healing. Good fortune in all areas of life, health, success, and prosperity, or for a new impulse to assist your life. You may also want to consider tailoring your activities to suit the cycle of the sun. So that's a little interesting blurb. So there's the sun, the moon, mysterious and magical and ever-changing, right? Mars. Oh, I thought these were color-coded, but maybe they're just colored by the color of what they think the planet should be assigned. Mercury. Jupiter. Venus, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Let's see what it says. By drawing this card, you're invited to use the energies of Pluto when practicing magic. Oh my God, is it like a blanket statement, you guys? <laughs> We're practicing. Oh. <laughs> uh. Magic for pressing, okay, it's not, for pressing and difficult decisions, for coming to terms with the past, for moving forward with a more positive attitude, and for the lifting of karmic restrictions. Love Pluto. All right, here we go with the cardinal points. East. Use this for when looking for original ideas and inspiration. Nice. South. Could you see that East card? Sorry. Growth and development, west, evaluate a situation, north, strength and clarity. Here are the elements, air, um, freedom and new discoveries. So it gives you a blurb about each thing and then tells you things down here to suggest what you could do. Physical challenge, sensational and sexual energy. Water, that was fire, water. Purification and healing. Earth. Responsibility for our lives and our destiny. Standing for stability and growth. Perfect. The fifth element. It's the source of all. The one that permeates the cosmos. Spirit. Interesting. Become one with spirit and magic in a path to achieve this end. Nice. Seasons, spring. Visualize your hopes and wishes. Summer. Quintessential energy that we put into everything that we do. Autumn. Come to terms with any unfinished business. Winter. Spend time each day meditating and journaling. No, journeying deep within yourself. Makes sense because we're all usually inside during the winter. Rocks and standing stones. So this would be sacred spaces. Use stones to help stabilize stress-filled places. And the power of trees. 
help to appreciate and celebrate the connectedness of creation. Yes. So overall, I think those are worth six bucks. I have to say. I hope you guys found this interesting. Peace and progress.